Dr. Tanvi Rodia, I am a senior consultant with Motherhood Hospital, Sector 48, Noida. We are here to talk about cervical cancer screening. Uh, as you know, cervical cancer is one of the most common uh, cancers to affect women in the rural areas and in the developing nations. And uh, India is a hub of cervical cancer and there, is, there are easy ways to help find cancer at an early stage and also to find protective measures against it. So when we are talking about cancer screening for cervical cancer, there are basically the two methods. One is the pap smear. Pap smear in this we just scrape off a few cells from the lower part of the cervix and the endocervix which is the inside the, the canal of the cervix and we send it for pathology. It can be liquid based where we send the cells in a um, uh, small container containing the uh, uh, chemical or it can be a slide based method where we just make a slide, fix it with a fixative and then send it to the lab. This is pap smear screening test commonly known as the pap. Every woman who is sexually active or uh, she, she may be married or not married, she may have had children or not, she may be 45, but any woman who is sexually active should get a pap smear done every three years. Even if she is vaccinated with HPV vaccine, then also she needs to get her pap smear done every three years. This screening continues till you are 65 years of age and all your last uh, three pap smears were normal. In case your last pap smears were not normal, then the screening will continue even after the age of 65 years.